Hello everyone. So I've got a tiny little haul for you today. Well, I probably wouldn't even call this a haul. It's more like grocery finds. Yeah, I like that term better. It's grocery finds from the past couple of days. So um, yeah, let's just get to it. I'll tell you where I got things from and I'll try to tell you prices as I go along. Um, as always, feel free to ask me questions below. Um, if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Desiree. I do grocery hauls, coupon deals, mom life stuff. Um, I just like to show you the new things that come in the store that excite me, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, let's just let's just go. So this little section here was from Kroger. Um, I got a mailed coupon to me from Kroger for 45 cents off bagels, and these are normally 169, I believe. And back in April, when groceries were a little more scarce. I kept trying to order these and do the grocery pickup, but they were always out of stock. So I was happy to see a bunch today. So I finally get to try my Hawaiian pre-sliced bagels. Let's see if they're good. And they feel really soft. I don't like bagels that are like tough, which I guess that's what a normal bagel's like, but yeah. Anyways, bagels. Um, these were buy one, get one free. And I checked it today. I bought these on yesterday, so Tuesday, but it's now Wednesday, so that deal is off, but it was buy one, get one free. Um, and they were $2.99 each, so therefore it was um, $1.50 each. So yeah, I got pumpkin spice. I think this was the last one. They're bringing in more Christmas stuff that you'll see in a little bit from Trader Joe's. Um, but yeah, I love pumpkin spice. I'm all for it. So I got me um, a pumpkin spice and just the original Thomas um, for like breakfast sandwiches. So yeah, that's that. And these freeze well, by the way. I freeze basically all bread I get, and they all defrost just fine in the fridge or even on the counter. So, um, not I'll probably freeze those, but I'll leave those in the fridge, which keeps them longer. Um, bananas, that was the main thing I went in the store for. Some green ones to hopefully last, because we have a few to be eaten. And then, look, I found pumpkin. Um, I know a lot of places, they were saying that there's feels like there's a shortage but they had a bunch of them and these were 119 I did buy a couple organic ones from Trader Joe's so I'm happy I just I just got one because I do like to bake a lot um, during these months during the fall and winter months so yay pumpkin okay this is oh this is my son's little section I should have had him come help <laughs> so um, the reason why we were out of the house was he had a dentist appointment all went great my son, by the way, is four and a half, if you don't know, and his teeth are healthy, no cavities, and he's getting his first permanent tooth, which is crazy to me because it feels like he just got all his baby teeth like yesterday. So yeah, this is his little section. Um, he's got some Ryan Band-Aids. Oh, so by the way, one, two, three, these three things were from the, um, what is it called? Bullseye Playground, Dollar Spot, whatever you want to call it at Target. So these were $1. Yep. $1 Ryan Band-Aids. And he's a kid. He always need Band-Aids. And he really likes the ones with a character of some sort on them. So yay, $1 Band-Aids. Um, there was a bunch of these. So this says pre-K through K. He's pre-K. Um, they had letters, numbers, opposites, a bunch of different ones. But he wanted this one probably because he liked the polar bear on a bike. <laughs> but yeah, because he knows his colors and shapes. But I mean, it's 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 repetition. It's it's good for them to um, freshen up on a little bit of everything. So yeah, um, and this was also a dollar. I do like getting my uh, home schooled preschool stuff at. Um, like Dollar Tree and Target, especially in the dollar spot because it's a good price. Oh, and by the way, I also used my 5% off um, on my Target Circle for my birthday. So yay. So it was more like 95 cents or it helps with tax, whatever. Um, this one was $3. Um, oh, and by the way, like a lot of this stuff, I mean, maybe my, minus this because that's not as much fun. Um, like this, like that can total, totally be a stocking stuffer. And they were getting a few Christmas things in at my store. My store always feels kind of late getting like the new stuff in. But yeah, they were stocking day of. So I'll have to go back and see what else they have. But yeah, awesome stocking stuffers, um, things like this um, for your kids. So this is Imagine Ink. He chose this one. Um, yeah, $3. I think I said that. 
I like these for in the car because they're mess free. You know, he doesn't usually color on things, but he's also four and a half and you know how they can be. So um, it's nice. It has this one marker um, and it's, it's pretty thin, but um, it'll keep his attention. Um, he does like doing like coloring stuff in the car. And so, yep, there's that and not interesting at all, but these were... I think this was $7.99, but there was a $3 off Target Circle coupon that came right off. So, yeah, we needed more of that. So, five bucks there. And, yeah, that was his little area from Target. We went into Big Lots because I was looking for, um, what's it called? An entertainment system, which they did have one I really liked. But, of course, they were out of stock. So, either I can order it or wait for it or what. But, yeah, I really liked that. And since we were there, we were walking around and he found this mini... Um, M&M gingerbread house cookies kit. We usually do this like the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So right in the beginning of the Christmas season. Um, it's a mini house and I only have one child. So it makes it easier. They also had the bigger ones for $10, I believe. And um, so they had this one. They had an elf on the shelf one that came with a bunch of gumdrops. And they had an Oreo one all in this mini size if you just have a little kid or little kids or just need one a small thing so yay we found a gingerbread house and it's oh that was five bucks if i didn't say that already so that was the only thing from big lots and then this little area here is from trader joe's look this is the main thing i went in there for i think this was 7.99 i actually don't have my receipts on me today i forgot to go get them but i'm going to guess the prices so if i'm wrong i'm sorry and you go into your store i'm and might be a dollar off or so, but yeah, I'm gonna try to remember. So $7.99 for this um, gingerbread coffee. It's a medium dark roast and it's 14 ounces. Um, I love pumpkin spice, but I have to say I like gingerbread coffee better. Um, I don't think, hmm, let me see. No, last year they didn't have my, I don't know if they called it gingerbread cookies or molasses cookies or you know something like that. Trader Joe's used to sell them like the place and bakes in the refrigerated section. I know they sell the chocolate chip cookie ones there too, but I miss those. I miss the gingerbread cookies. I know they sell molasses cookies, I feel like, in the past couple seasons there. I did see them, but I like the place and bakes, so I'm a little bummed about that. And the fact that Starbucks isn't even doing their gingerbread uh, latte, so that makes me sad, but whatever. So we got gingerbread um, coffee here. I do buy K-cups and ground coffee, and this is my reasons why. Because on the weekends when my husband and I are together, or if we have someone over, I'll do a pot of coffee. I have a five-cup pot, which in reality, that's like two cups, right? <laughs> so I do a five-cup pot when we're together. but And then on the weekdays, because my husband wakes up so early, like hours before I'm ready to drink my coffee, we just use K-Cups. So that's why in my halls you might see both ground coffee and K-Cups. So yeah, that's my reasoning for that. Um, so yeah, gingerbread coffee, I guess I rambled enough about that. Really excited that yeah, was the main thing. Oh, and by the way, just like their fall season, they're saying they're not bringing in a lot of their winter stuff. Like they have a very limited amount coming and that's all they're going to get. So you're going to want to go now if you love all their Trader Joe's um, Christmas stuff. That's my favorite times to go there really is fall and winter. And with the fall stuff, so I shared that haul late September when I bought all that pumpkin spice stuff. And I think two weeks later I went back because on that main day I went, they didn't have coconut aminos. Went back and they did have it, but like all their fall stuff was pretty much gone. They had a few Thanksgiving stuff coming in, but like all the pumpkin spice, pumpkin cookies, all that stuff, it was gone. So yeah, you're going to want to go like now <laughs> if you want any of this stuff or see what other Christmas stuff they had. Because they had a ton. They had the advent calendars as well for 99 cents. I know those are really popular. Um, I just personally don't do um, those in my house. We do something a little different. I'll share a video on that in, the, in maybe a week or so. But yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, get your Christmas stuff now if you want it because who knows, in the beginning of December it might be gone. So 
This was, I think this was $3.99 or $4.99. I think it was $4.99. But this is Belgian truffles. And it's I like that it's all wrapped up and ready to go. There is eight pieces in there. So this is a nice little, a small gift to give a family or something or one person, you know, whatever. They also had a dark chocolate truffle set. I think that was $5.99. And that was also wrapped in a nice little bag. So that was that was really nice. Actually, I don't think it was truffles. It was just dark chocolates, like assorted dark chocolate. So um, a nice little thing to buy and just to have. A um, nice little neighbor gift or something. This boozy little chocolate truffles, these were $6.99. I got two of them because, again, I don't know if they're going to be out or what by the time I go back. And actually, yeah, for me, this is really early to be buying Christmas stuff. I usually try to buy stuff like closer to Thanksgiving even. But yeah, so I'm just, I'm, I wanted to get all the stuff like as soon as possible. And plus we were right there. <laughs> so yeah, a boozy little chocolate truffle. So it's got flavors of London gin, scotch whiskey, navy rum, and Prosecco. And yeah, that just sounds fun. I might keep one for myself. I don't know. So there's six of them. Wait, six servings. Okay, yeah. Well, I don't... six servings per container, but serving size is six truffles. I don't know, but yeah, nice little gift. It does say, what does this say? It says there's some alcohol content in there. Cool. <laughs> um, they do sell something similar at Costco. It's just under twenty dollars for a big set, and it's like basically boozy chocolates but um i bought them a couple years in a row actually my husband bought them for me as a gift and they're not the greatest so i do kind of want to try this to compare i mean the costco ones are okay but maybe there's not enough booze in it for me i don't know i don't even drink so <laughs> that's funny <laughs> so this last but not least moving off of that this was 5.99 so a dollar less and it's kind of fun. It's like a game. This is Trader Joe's Taste Test of Caramels. So um, I, I think I'm going to give this as a gift as well because I'm not the I'm not crazy about caramel stuff. Do you say caramel or caramel? Let me know below. But yeah, it's got um, it says the question is which is which. So they gave you like the sorry if you can't really see. There's the the flavors. It's like there's Himalayan salted coconut, blood orange balsamic like stem ginger, hot chili, strawberry black pepper. Like that sounds kind of crazy, but um, yeah, very fun. And I guess you're supposed to cut them. It has the, yeah, oops, sorry. Like, yeah, you can cut them. So it's like a game you can play with against other people. Or I was talking to the um, cashier and he's like, yeah, that'd be just be fun for me to just bite a piece of every one of them or just eat the whole thing in one sitting. <laughs> and, and then you can guess by yourself what the flavors are. But yeah, really fun, $5.99. Um, they just had a few of these, so we'll run and get them if you want. Um, and then a couple not seasonal items. This was $1.19 for the reduced fat coconut milk. Um, I'd like to have these in the pantry because I do like um, coconut rice or I do butter mochi and you need coconut milk and curries and I actually use a lot of coconut milk. I should probably buy that in bulk next time I go to a bulk store. Um, this was $2.49. My son loves these crackers and my nephew likes them too. So these I believe are year round and every time I go to Trader Joe's I basically buy one and it's six ounces of them. So yeah, that's my teeny tiny little grocery finds I got today. Um, if you have any questions, as always, ask me below or just say hi. I love talking to you all. And yeah, run to the store if you want some Christmas stuff because the way things are flying, like for the past few holidays, um, you kind of have to. I went to Dollar Tree a couple weeks before Halloween and it was gone. Like they had Christmas stuff. There was like no Halloween decorations left. So yeah, you might want to start early on that if you're like me and usually wait till a little later. But yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. And if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe below if you're interested. Um, it really helps a little channel like mine. And give me a thumbs up. And yeah, again, everyone, please have a safe and blessed day. Bye. And I need to insert this somewhere in this video. I don't know, beginning, middle, end, somewhere. <laughs> 
But I completely forgot that I bought this too at Kroger. It was $5.99 for this Venus fly trap. That part right there doesn't look so good, but it definitely ate something there. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, $5.99 at Kroger. I had wanted one from Aldi when it was an Aldi find a few, maybe last month or so. It was before Halloween, I know that. But um, yeah, $5.99 at Kroger. I've also seen them at um, Meyer too. So make sure you check your uh, floral areas. So yeah, just wanted to add this too.